What does it take to start your own business? So I have started many, many, many companies, well over 100 of them, and uh, took them over, did startups, did flips, did all sorts of things. So what does it take to start it? Let's dig in. So here's what we're going to talk about. How do you identify and leverage your current skill set? So part of do you want to start your own business is do you have any experience? So I'm going to speak to those who really haven't done a lot of entrepreneurial venture, you've been an employee, or you're just getting started as an entrepreneur. So I'm going to speak from that perspective. If you're a more mature entrepreneur, still stay tuned and you'll get some nuances of some things that I do very differently, like contracting cash and all sorts of other cool techniques I'll speak to. Number two, though, what are some practical ways for very low startup costs that you can get going and how do you get to profit fast. I'm probably the best in the world that teaches that. And last, I want to tell you a little bit about what are the mindset, the strategies, and how do you actually get that psychological like grind? Because a lot of you, a lot of you, you want to be an entrepreneur, but you really end up an emotional entrepreneur. You love the title of saying, I own my own company and I'm a this and I'm a that. You aren't making any money. So why get out of bed to do any of this for less than six figures in the beginning? And then as you grow, you're not going to get out of bed for less than seven or eight figures. I don't. There's no way if I can't make at least a million, five, 10, et cetera, I'm not starting it for just a couple hundred thousand dollars. For me at the level I've been playing, that's different. For you, your first hundred is pivotal and it's the hardest money for you employees and beginners to make. Why? Because you've been trained to be an employee across the world. And I've been six of the seven continents teaching this. Everyone's taught the same that if you're going to get money, you're going to get it from a job, not an entrepreneurial venture, not a side hustle or whatever you want to call this. So you've got to look first at the easiest thing to do. So that's I look at your skill sets. Like, what is the easiest thing you could do right now today, whether you like it or not? See, I am not the do what you love and the money will come. Do your passion and money will come. That is such nonsense. It's not either. I can guarantee you're going to build it. I guarantee they're not coming in this economy. So you have to do what's easy because remember, you're coming from an employee box and I'm opening up a huge entrepreneurial world to you. So the things you're not taught, and even if you went to school for it, my son just graduated with a master's in accounting. We'll still tell you today. Mom, I went to five years of school, two bachelor's degrees and a master's, never was taught what you teach. Like it just doesn't happen. So what you have to learn as an entrepreneur, which will be the most challenging skills, but once you got them, making a hundred to a million is easier than making your first hundred because you don't know how to market as an entrepreneur. Digital marketing, the way we're doing it, most of you don't know how to do it or do it right. You don't know how to sell. And a lot of that is phone-based sales. And then you don't understand how to manage cash flow, pay bills and use corporate structure and all the things that I talk about. So those are usually why most small businesses fails because you're not taught that base entrepreneurial skill set, which is pivotal. So do something easy while you're learning learning to be an entrepreneur. So when you start a business, think I'm not going to start a whole new industry if this is my first one of something I don't know when I don't know how to do core entrepreneurial skills. Take the easy thing. If you're a teacher, be a tutor, right? If you love music and you teach music, do extra music lessons. Do like a whole, you could do those virtually online. You could do them through YouTube channel. There's a lot of ways. A lot of you don't know how to scale and create an offer, an entrepreneurial offer based on your skill set. So again, we're going to help craft that for you. And how do you take what you know, make it an offer and monetize it as fast as you can. Again, service-based businesses for most of you is going to be your fastest path to cash. In the beginning, right? And I've been partners with Kevin Harrington, Bob Proctor, you name it. Great, great people in the world, partners, business partners. And like, that's a later thing, right? Kevin Harrington teaches inventions and product and getting products to market and doing all that. Products to market is not a place to start, in my opinion. I don't think you go build a product because then what do you need? You're going to need way more capital. You might need prototypes. There's intellectual property. You got patents. There's a whole game to that. Not that you can't grow into it, but why make your first business, your first six figures as an entrepreneur? That one, right? The potential and the risks are much higher, especially in this economy, in this environment. So take the easy thing, create a service-based business. Like when I started at 17 years old, my first service-based business, I knew how to work out like really well. And I was highly trained in, you know, D1 athletics. So I started a personal training business, right? So I taught you how to strength train. So I had his speed training, blah, 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 everything it takes to be personal training. So I just started trading my time. A lot of you, you have this thing in your mind, well, I can't trade my time for money. It's all you got right now. So just do it. And if it becomes the only part of your business model, then I'm going to get in as your mentor and coach and say, uh, 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 uh. it's a way to get started with nothing. You don't need any money. It's the ultimate bootstrapping is just 
offer. First of all, you got to see if anybody even wants to buy your offers. A lot of you don't even know that. Doing Being an entrepreneur is not sitting in your little box, figuring out what you want to do. It's going out here to the social media world and going out to the market and saying, I'm a money expert. What do you want to know about? Right? That's why I invite you to go to Ask Laurel all the time, right? A-S-K-L-O-R-A-L. Ask a question, make a request. What do you want from me? And then we will deliver it right back out here on YouTube and other social channels. So I don't just deliver content because I think you need it. Now, some points I do because some of you aren't getting the memo about how critical a few things are. But for the most part, I'm delivering what my audience has polled and surveyed and told me they want. And I create offers around that. So that's where a lot of you, that's where you got to get to. And I do this millionaire intensive. It's super cool. It's a one day event once a month. You can grab tickets in the description below and come test out your offers. We do a three hour marketplace. Where do you get to go for three hours and just test your offers? I mean, I don't care if you change your offer every 15 minutes, right? You could try this. All right. Well, nobody wanted that one. Now you're going to go regroup a little bit. We have coaches online that help you figure out your offers and then try that one. And as soon as you start making sales, and these are pre-order sales, people are going to pay you, then you deliver. You're not going to deliver and then hope to God you get paid. See, most of you have that out of sequence because again, you're employed. So you go to work, then you get a check. You go to work, then you get a check. That's not how it works as an entrepreneur. You don't go to work, you don't move until someone pays you. Then you go to work. And a lot of you, that just that psychology is completely blows your mind. You might have to go back and rewatch this part of the video over and over to get it into your pretty little heads over there. Now, the next point. So what are the practical, again, easy ways to get up and running without any cost structure is go out and sell. Like go out and sell some of your time. In the beginning, call it personal training. When I moved over to financial coaching, which was 1996, when I was a master distributor of the cash flow game, I moved immediately into a $2,500 offer and then to a $5,000 offer of coaching with me. So yeah, I was trading my time and I was selling the Rich Dad Poor Dad products. What a lot of you don't know is I actually went out to 17 other money and tax and just financial business gurus. And I sold 18 people's product that I still have, you know, great relationships with all those people. So I didn't just sell one thing. I sold a lot of things. So I want to be a resource around money and business to you. And then my time was traded. Yes. But very quickly within a year, I got coach number two, coach number three, and I started just getting the work and they would do the actual coaching. So a lot of you, you can get up and running today. Today, you could say, I'm an expert in nutrition for 20 bucks for 20 minutes. I'm going to sit and give you the starting of a nutrition plan for 2020 that you're going to lose X pounds or get healthy or detox or whatever you're going to do. Just start doing those things. What it does for you, and this is pivotal, so my trillion dollar tip, it gets you used to the repetition. It gets you used to what you actually like to do. Like, I actually love this topic. I love what I teach. I love the content. Do you love what you're going to teach? And do you have a format for it? Like, I can tell you when I was asked to write this, I didn't have a format for how to make a millionaire. I just did it. People were paying me between $2,500 and $5,000 between 2000 and 2004 or five. And this was, I was offered this contract in five. And they would say, well, we need you to write how you make millionaires. I said, I don't know how I make millionaires. They just follow me around. They pay me. I tell them what to do. They do it and they become a millionaire. It was all real estate based at that point. And they said, well, make a formula. So I made a formula. I made up the word sequencing. I made up the gap analysis. I made this stuff up based on what I knew. So all of you can do the same thing. It's not as hard and difficult as it looks. It's just different than you know how to do because you're used to being employed. I'm going to go do, then we get paid. That's not how it works. What does the market want? I'm going to produce for them. They're going to pay me. Then I'm going to go to work. It's completely a reverse behavior, not psychology. So don't go into the whole mindset stuff about it. It's not that. It's lack of knowledge, lack of the right behavior, and lack of the right sequence. So once you get that in motion, you can start anything bootstrapping. Then right behind it, you got to get scalable. Now there's two engines that I am insistent that you have to pay for right away. And I need you to talk to our team, not just go hunt and peck around the internet. You've got to get corporate structure and you've got to get a database. We have both. We do it the most cost affordably and efficient for you. So you can check those out in the links below. So as many pre-orders, my big key to getting started quickly is as many pre-orders as you can get gets money in the door. Because money in the door means you have capital to continue, get incorporated, get your database, maybe put some ads on some social media, even five or 10 bucks a day, just get started, get a following of people coming into your database where you can monetize as fast as you can. I literally can get you up to speed in 30, 60, 90 days, but you got to move as fast as I'm going to tell you to move. So even if you cut that in half, you'll be up in revenue faster in my models because I've done so many of these startup companies than most people. A lot of people say, you're just going to take three to six months to plan. No, it's not. Today you can make money. Is it illegal for you to make money? That's the other question. A lot of people say, well, don't you have to get your business license and your sales tax license and all these things set up? No. As long as it's 
it's done by the end of the year, no regulatory body is going to care what you're doing unless you're in the securities world, then they're going to care from the minute you begin. So don't go to securities, meaning you're going to sell some big real estate syndication or any of those things. It's way too sophisticated for a startup. So startups are fast, easy, and don't take a lot of money to get going, in my opinion. If you're spending a lot of time and money, you're not being helped properly. That includes a book. I get these done in anywhere between in three hours to one day, I can put out a content like a book like this. You say, how do you do that? Because the content comes out of my brain. A book is your brain on papers. It's not that difficult, different. So before I continue, I want you to subscribe to my channel. I want you to click that notification button. I want you here five days a week. You and your family, this is a family channel. Every day, what's one thing you're gonna learn? What's one thing you could talk to your family about? And then engage your family. Share this with every family member. For all of you, I mean, make it part of your kids' tasks and monthly income to be part of this. Yeah, you might be paying them a little to get financially literate. What, what a better gift and what a better job for them to do for you as well. Well, now, the last point I want to talk about, how do you adapt your mindset and the strategies? I cannot tell you enough what has helped me and got me not only here, but really quickly in a lot of different industries is I've always had a mentor and a coach. Always. I cannot imagine doing this by yourself out there. You've got to get a team and you've got to get systems. That's what we're known for is stop doing all this by yourself. It's impossible to do well. I mean, you might make your first six figures. You might even get to a quarter million all by your little self and figure all this out. I guarantee that's a painful way to go. We can help you in like literally weeks, if not days, like months might be slow because you won't do what we say. So when people on the internet say, well, Laurel stuff doesn't work. No, I work. You don't. You don't do what I say in the order that I say it. So when I say get corporate structure and get a database, that begins the game. Can't afford it right now. Go make some money, pay for those first, then keep going. So I have lots more to tell you, but I got a roll. So go to asklaurel.com, A-S-K-L-O-R-A-L, ask question, make a request, and we'll be right back tomorrow.